About 10 million people over 40 and living with HIV also have cardiovascular disease. But new Duke research finds statins could help lower their risk of heart attack or stroke. Over the years, medications for HIV have improved. That means people are living longer, but they're also starting to deal with other diseases. One of these is cardiovascular disease, which is about twice as common among people living with HIV as it is amongst the general population. This is heart attacks and strokes are twice as common. This prompted Duke researchers to study whether statins, which help lower cholesterol, could lower the risk of a major cardiac event in HIV patients. The clinical trial took place in 12 countries with almost 8,000 people and showed promising results. Dr. Pamela Douglas is a professor of medicine at Duke University and co-lead of the study. And our major finding was that use of a statin medication when compared to a sugar pill or placebo reduced the risk of a heart attack or stroke by 35%. This was more than we expected and so significant that NIH stopped the trial early because they felt it would be harmful for people taking the sugar pill to continue to take the sugar pill and not to have access to this information and therefore the ability to make a decision to take a statin. Dr. Douglas says the finding highlights the importance of health equity, particularly among those living with a stigmatized illness like HIV. This is very much uh, opening the door to some new research and some new understandings, again, in diseases that are very common and affect millions of people. So I hope that we are a springboard um, to opening horizons for better heart health for these patients. And researchers say the long-term hope is that patients with HIV will have a conversation with their doctors about their heart health risk and the potential benefits of taking statins. That's an interesting study. Yeah.